G'day, Big Buds are here. In this video, we're going to go over the most recent patch brought out on the 17th of the 7th. As of recording, this update only went live about two hours ago, so I thought we'd cover it. There's a few things in here which are pretty handy to know, so let's get straight into it. The main reason I'm covering this update is because C4, Claymores, and Mines have been adjusted. So C4s will be destroyed when a player dies. A maximum of six can be placed. When a seventh is placed, the first one will be removed to maintain a total of six. So a slight nerf for C4, but it's just reducing it to being able to throw six C4 at once, which I'm pretty happy with this change. It just means you can't spam throw and make a massive stack of C4. Still being able to throw six at once is still pretty strong, and I don't think it's gonna be that significant. But the main one, which, oh, it's not what I would have changed personally. I would have just removed mines and claymores. Anyway, I'll cover it and then get into my thoughts. So claymores and mines will not be destroyed upon death. However, only four can be placed at a time. If a fifth is placed, the first one will be removed, ensuring a total count of four. I understand why they've made it like this, that they don't be destroyed, because then you can place claymores and mines in strategic areas, where if you do die, then you might have to run all the way back to where you've placed them, if you have played them strategically. Most of the time, though, they're just placed at staircases or in fucking bushes, but hopefully this really does help the claymore abuse. Claymore abuse was an actual thing. It really pissed me off. That was one of my main negatives about the game at the moment, was just how crazy claymores were and how many you could put down so this is the most welcoming change i've had for a while so thank you oki <laughs> they're definitely the main standout thing for this patch the next most significant thing will probably be the flag capture zones adjusted correctly i'm pretty sure it essentially means the zones now actually are a bit smaller and less likely to be capped from a different building off of the actual point just making the capture points on all the maps actually feel like a point where in call of duty and battlefield you know a point is a particular building where now I'm pretty sure this change will more indicate oh okay A is at the farm or whatever and that will be more clear to all the players which will be a nice change. A really big feature which is really good for streamers and content creators so as you can see in the top right hand corner when we create a party we get a code which we can copy and then paste and we can give this to the people that we want to join or your twitch chat or whatever and then they can just paste that into join party and should be able to join your party which is really cool. Don't have to spend all the time adding people on steam and crowding your steam friends list which is really good. That's a really good change. So some other smaller stuff, enemy vehicles number of players won't be shown in map when spotted. I didn't even realize this myself, but as you can see on your teammate vehicles, you can see how many players are in them. I'm assuming that was the case if you marked an enemy. It would say how many enemies are in that, which I think that's a fair change. Another one is placing walls and barricades. While placing walls, there will be half player size space margin requirement to avoid clipping. So essentially you can't put a wall in your feet and clip into it. That's just the quality of life thing for the game. It really won't change much. Just make sure you've got enough space to put down your cover. There's a few map changes for Frugus, playing Rush, Wacky Stand, Domination. I think I've got a game on that which is a bit old now so that might be outdated but it's a good one. Eduardo Conquest 32 got its unique map as well that's separate from the big map. Now the rest seems to be back end stuff and under the rug type of deal. The main change that I've been wanting and crying out for is the Claymore adjustment because that was doing my head in. It was just a easy put down. Every time you spawn you can put three or four Claymores down and just live there forever. So I'm very happy to see changes like this come into place and it really does show that the devs are listening to our feedback and are realizing what are the issues in the game. That's pretty much it for this short update. I hope you guys learned something. Just a quick mention that we are big clan is growing tremendously in size really quickly so if you guys want to jump in and join a clan make sure you follow the link in the description to my discord and join there thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next one